Hello, so I thought we'd do repurpose one of these. It's a um, photo card. You basically put your photograph in here. It, it slips in from the back here and is displayed in there. These are quite a modern design and I tend to like vintagey things. So I'm going to repurpose them and use them to display this photograph. It's actually a, a postcard. Um, I've got a few like it and I thought it would just look nice in there. But I'm going to decorate the outside first so it matches in with the image. I'm probably going to ink all this with vintage photo, maybe back it with some book pages. I'll see as we go along. To start with, I've put a piece of cardboard covered in baking parchment, this sort of stuff. It's non-stick, so if I glue anything on here and the glue seeps into there, it won't stick, so that this will still work. I'll still be able to slide my photograph in. I don't want to put my photograph in to set off with because I might get glue or ink or anything on it. So I'm going to work on the front and then put the photograph in later. So I thought I'd start. I've got all sorts of bits and pieces of ephemera and papers and, and scraps of corrugated cardboard, tags, book pages, all sorts. So I thought I would start, set that aside a moment, and I've got this copy of a vintage um, check. It's white, you could have a tea stained one or the original is actually pink. And I'm just going to add a bit of colour to little bits of it. I'm probably not going to use it as a whole, so it doesn't matter if it's a bit patchy with my inking uh, because I'm probably just going to cut out various little bits from it. You could tea stain it if you wanted, it might smudge a little because it was uh, just done on a inkjet photocopier so it might, it might, as I say, smudge a little bit. But Time you've inked it up, you probably wouldn't notice. I've got a few dark areas. But as I say, I'm gonna going to just use little bits. Probably mostly the numbers and things. I have a bit of a thing for numbers. So I've got plenty of ink on there and my fingers. Set my scrap piece of paper aside. I might give it a slight mist with a water spray if I can find it. Let's move those out of the way so I don't get them. And then while it's drying I can work on the other bits and pieces. So that will give it a bit of a mottled effect. So I'll set it aside to dry. That's it, that's dry now. And then we'll start work on this while that's drying. We may end up not using it, but we'll see. I've got some dictionary pages and I've just ripped them down the centre. But I thought for a base, they would be a good start. Then if there's any areas that I don't cover, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to start by gluing those on. Just using my extra strong PVA. And as I say, because you've put the baking parchment in, you can go right to the edge because if it seeps under, it won't, it won't glue itself to there. We've got the words. Oh, cotton's quite nice, so I'll keep that at the top. So I'm going to cover 
that edge up. A bit of a straight bit of glue. And I think what I'll probably do is fold it over and glue that because then it will cover part of the inside as well in one fell swoop. So I'll just go across corners and then I'll go in and in this reduces the bulk on the corners I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to have this as a standing or a hanging uh, photo display. I think I'll probably decide as I go along. There's a bit more glue on there. So you see that just reduces the, the bulk on the corners so you haven't got quite as much bulk. I need to leave this open. So uh, what I might do is just ink that edge when I cover this. So that's that first bit. I think I'll do the same at the top as well. Because then at least I've got a base to work on and it doesn't matter if I've got little areas that don't get covered. So again I'll do the same thing. This one I think I'll cut off because it's on the fold it might wrinkle if I try to fold it over. bits we might use them later. This bit we definitely will. So I think I'm possibly going to put that in there. Hmm. Maybe we'll see. Yes I think I'll do that. I'll rip the edges and then it isn't as even. You get a similar effect to that then. So I've just got a ruler, put it on, press down and then we just tear the paper against the ruler. That little bit and we should have enough just to stick in there. Yeah, I don't want that straight edge. again and I've just got glue in there but that's fine because I've, that's why I've got my baking parchment there I don't think I particularly want to be able to read the writing so I'll just go I've got a little bit past where my glue is so I'll just put a bit in there. And a lot of this we will, as I say, probably be covering up. That one. Just check which way it opens. That way. So I'll go. Noticed I can see a little bit of the pink, so I'll just move it uh, that way. There we go. And I get on these little. 
little bits. Just make sure they're stuck down. And then we'll go over onto the inside again. Let's fold it in. And again on the other side and then we'll start to decorate. Paper clips are quite handy to stick on while things set. While your glue dries a little bit and clings. So, we've got the front more or less covered. Um, I'll just do a little bit of inking just round that edge. And again, because we've got our baking parchment there, it doesn't matter if I go into the aperture. liking the look of this already without actually any other decoration on it. So we've got that far. Now I think I'm going to do it so that it's, it displays sort of stood up with the photograph in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of these little tags which are quite cute and the green one. And I might extend it out a little bit by sort of putting these overlapping at the sides. I don't know if I want both sides. Probably not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of map out what I want or how I want it to look and then stick everything down later. So I've got all sorts of different things. Some of these graphic 45 things are just die cuts from a graphic 45 pad. And they do need the edges inking and the little tiny bits of paper where they've been held into the die cut sheet. Just snipping off or you can sand them off with an emery board. would stick on there. No, it's too big. It would go down there though. I just wonder about one going that way. There's quite a lot of green in some of these things, so it'd be quite nice to carry the green on. I don't think I want that one again. I'm going to ink these these tags up so that they're sort of a vintagey colour. Now I like this one, but I think I'm going to cut the car out. Because I think the tag itself is just too big as it is. Also, I'll put it aside for now and see what else I've got. No. <laughs> Quite nice circular things mirrored. Now oh, this is quite nice, it's supposed to look like a man's shirt. That would look quite nice. Took it behind there. So that it was just showing one button. I want the majority of the design to be at the base because it's heavier. 
Now these are little, they're like receipt, yeah, receipt stamps. So I can actually cut those off and just have them on the tags. I have two there. What else have I got? Hmm. Just wondering if that looks better now. I don't think it does. What I'll do. Like that up there. I'll cut the car out. Might replace the car for that. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video, I'll do all the fussy cutting and then I'll come back. So I've inked all the edges of all the little bits and pieces and cut all the little lugs where they were attached into the original papers. I've applied some brown ink to these wooden tags. I'll just add a bit more just to make them a little bit more aged. There we are. Um, I've inked the edge of my green tag as well. I think what I'm going to do is also do a little bit of stamping on it. So I'll just do it with Distress Vintage Photo. Let's see. Uh, sale by auction would be quite good. Oh, actually the theatres, because they look as if they're on a day trip. So, just a little bit there. I don't think we'll see that bottom bit, so I'll just do a little bit up there. I think I may do all of this little tag. It doesn't actually show up very well anyway, so I might do the theatres again the other way on. See if I can get it to show up. No, it doesn't. But it doesn't matter. It's giving it a bit of texture. Alright, that one would probably be better done in black. So I'll just do a little bit in black and see if it shows up better. I think I'll possibly do our crackle stamp. Good thing about the crackle stamp is you can just fill in bits as you go along. It doesn't have to be a particular place. Right, so I think we'll start and put everything together. Get rid of the stamps out of the way. So you'll see, because this tag is going to go here, probably quite a bit over there, that you won't actually see much of that at all. So it was a waste having it under here because you wouldn't see it. So I've actually cut it off because then I can use it on the inside. So I'll start with that. And what I'll do is I'll put my glue on that corner because then I know it will be just on there and I won't get too much onto my baking parchment. I think I'll put my long one across the top. You'll notice most of these graphic 45 bits and pieces are double sided. There'll be a plain side and a decorated sort of fancy side 
So that's the, the plainer side and that's the fancy side. That's going across the top there. I quite like these two circular elements in a little cluster there, so I'm going to pop those on there. I could raise some of these up, but I think they're okay as they are actually. I have it the right way up, it's got initials on it. circular things in groups so I think I'm going to have my I'll have to put my tag a little bit over there because I've cut that off I can't do that I quite like that and it needs a fairly bit a fairly quite a lot secured just checking I've got it the right way around I'll do it level with that, level with that. So, as you can see, I would have wasted the bit that was stuck under there because you wouldn't have seen it. So, I quite liked these in a little group up here. So just on that edge, and a little bit further down, just come in, in a little bit I think, like that, quite like that tag, like that, just wondering if I've got my circle reinforcers. Yes, I think we need one of those on to it. I think our car is actually going to come across here. I tried the little tag on there and it wasn't right, so we put it that way. No, it's got writing on it, I like to see the writing. I think I'm going to go with that along there. So it makes another border along the bottom can just poke it just underneath there Considered having that one out there, and that up there, which I think is quite a good idea. I'm just wondering if I need it quite so far out. I don't usually best scissors for this, but you can actually cut them if you've got quite sharp scissors. And because this will be hidden behind there, that'll be fine. And have another little, little reinforcer on there. Oh, now why that's stuck? Hmm, doesn't want to stick. I think we'll have a bit of PVA on the back. Don't know why it doesn't want to stick. Maybe it's because it's wood.
Just wondering if that one, no, that one isn't stuck either. So we'll just put a bit of a UVA on that one as well. stick our wooden tag there so it's coming out and to put that one on there so what I think I might do is this was part of the tag with the car so I'm just going to glue this on but if I don't go right to the edge I'll still be able to pop it underneath there we are. and this one will just go underneath slightly finally sticks and then I think we'll have our car here coming across I think I need a little bit of foam tape underneath there because it's just a little bit higher up with being this wooden tag is raising the front of the car up so the back of the car needs to be raised up the equal amount so we'll put glue on here of the wheels so that they are actually grounded it doesn't look as if it's trundling away into the sky Right, so what else have we got left? don't think I need much else on it. I'm just debating whether I should put a little bit of foam tape under there. I think I should. Because it's just raising up a little. We're just about there. Don't think we need anything else on. So that's our front done. I will continue ink on the middle. I'll probably put book pages here, maybe some lined paper there, or decorate that. And then also the back. But I've got all these little bits and pieces left over which I can use on the inside. I could even cut the border of this off and use that. You don't, because I've cut into it, doesn't mean to say it isn't any use. I've also got another tag. So if I'd wanted to, I could have attached, inked this up and attached that at the top. So it would have hung on the wall. I might still do that, I'll see. I quite like the fact that that echoes the other tag. So thinking about it, I probably will. And then if it stands up, it'll just be an extra feature. But I'll go ahead and do that and then show you the finished um, project with the photographing and everything.